All right, this is either going to be very fun or very disappointing. There's my fancy new F mount to Z mount adapter with tilt function. Back when I was getting into digital photography in my SLR days, I couldn't afford the fancy uh, AFG series lenses, so I stuck with the older, cheaper AFD series from Nikon that still has the, the aperture rings. When I switched to the Z cameras, they all became manual focus only. Fun little adapters like this, that are really dumb and have no electronic contacts or anything, can breathe all new life into my old neglected glass. So I've decided to start with my uh, 85mm 1.8, but I've got this knob on the top that can control the, uh, the tilt. And then there's this little thing on the bottom that I haven't been able to figure out how to make it work yet. Okay, it looks like it rotates without much issue. Um, I just had to push a little harder on it than I was initially comfortable pushing. Focus peaking is working flawlessly, but uh, I think the first thing I'm going to want to do is uh, program in a non-CPU lens so uh, IBIS will work properly. Alright, so if you're a Nikon shooter, you're going to want to click on the little wrench, non-CPU lens data, and uh, if you're wondering why the color looks a little weird on this camera, this is my uh, full spectrum converted one. So. Uh, Let's go do some uh, infrared tilt shift. I had such a good time playing with the tilt adapter on my Z5, I had to run home and grab my Z6 and my 50mm and try it with visible light. At first I was a little concerned about the lack of um, minimum focus distance, but then I realized that that's all the outside edge of the lens and the edges just aren't as sharp as the center. The Z5 shoots video with a 1.7 crop, so I wasn't noticing this. On the Z6, when I'm shooting full frame video, I could only get focus on the uh, top two thirds of the frame. The effect isn't nearly as prominent when you're looking at something straight on. You really need to be looking at it from above looking down. I forgot that my old uh, Takina 28-80 uh, to 80 had an aperture control. So I can use this on the uh, tilt adapter as well. Nice! That's, that's three lenses.
noticed when I got this footage into my computer, I noticed the sky was exceptionally blocky. Now this only happened on the Z5 footage, not the Z6 footage. So I can't quite figure out if it's uh, a Z5 versus Z6 thing, or if it's a so, uh, full spectrum versus visible light thing. I'm using the uh, 680 nanometer today, just because that'll let in a little bit more information in the other colors just to see what happens. CP lens information. This is very shaky footage. Alright, so this is some full spectrum footage. If the weird blockiness is caused by uh, only one color channel getting information, then this should rule that out or not. The included instructions don't do a lot to um, show you how to actually use the adapter. This screw tightens the, uh, tightens or loosens the uh, tilty part. That's pretty obvious. This little clip here is slightly less obvious in its operation. Okay, so this tiny little round metal thing, you can kind of pull it out and twist it, and that will allow you to uh, rotate it left and right. You can rotate it a full uh, 360, and it seems to click at, like, I'm thinking, 30 degree increments but you can also leave it at any spot. Not bad for a tilt-only adapter. I would have preferred a tilt shift, but the only ones I could find required medium format lenses, whereas this can use my old uh, F-mount glass. I've missed you.